Philly, I still look blah. You get in your mind and they mess it all up. I'm hitting everyone and they're like in your mind. Give it some time and I'm fucking you fine. Some things about life you subconsciously hide. Could you get drunk and you smoke to get high? I'm not gonna lie, that used to be I. And I'm close to the fine, that point in life where I don't need a light in the dark so I can see. I can close my eyes. Hey my peeps and peepettes, welcome back to another review by Zombville. In today's review, we're taking a look at Shabam! Ace E-Juice. Some of the best E-Juice on the world. Actually, I should say some of the best E-Juice in the world, not on the world. I guess it's kind of like the same thing. So, anyways, you can go along to their website, which should be popping up right over here in this corner, uh, www.aceejuice.com, and um, you know how I roll. We're going to talk a little bit about the company, and then we're going to get into a little bit of a vape session, because we got four juices, count one, two, three, four juices to check out. Uh, so let's get into the company first. Let's have a two. Welcome to the presentation for Ace E Juice, made by Vapors for Vapors. Now, Ace E Juice is based out of the Greater Chicago, Illinois area. And we're taking a look at their website here. Now, their prices are comparable to that of. Um, The really low end of uh, some of the juice lines that I've seen out there, but I mean, this is like some of the finer kind of juice that you'll find out there. But the low, the lowest prices that you'll find, um, I mean, 10 mils, 450, 15 mils, 750, 30 mils, 11 bucks. You won't find too many juice companies that have prices as low or lower than that I have never seen prices lower than that every once in a blue moon there might be a special brand that would have prices lower than that but that's very rare these are her set prices and she generally has coupons such as what she's done with her March Madness there uh, to where there's additional savings involved like that buy 230 mils get one free that is that's a hell of a bargain because you're paying $22 for 90 mils worth of juice wow so you can see you know the different uh, categories here you got your cheesecake collection cocktail collection your house specialty fruit basket you know we're going to take a look at some of these but I just wanted to point some of this stuff out as I feel it needs to be pointed out they don't use diactyl food coloring or titanium oxide in any of their juices there's five ingredients in their juices propylene glycol vegetable glycerin nicotine flavors and ethyl maltol which is an organic compound a common flavoring sweetener and a very pleasant smelling chemical that is used as a flavoring in food beverage tobacco confectionery and fragrance industry now 
if you should happen to have any questions such as like you're a wholesaler or reseller and you want more information directly from, from her contact her at info at acejuice.com so let's take a look at this uh, juice of the month club that ace ejuice has now you can see here every month uh, you know your first order uh, the way it's set up you get seven 15 mil bottles of their finest juices and it looks like the pricing on it is uh, $33 for seven bottles a month um, 86 for three months, 158 for six, 290 for 12. So, you know, it, it just gets cheaper if you just tack on the time. And, uh, oh, the item ships free for three to 12 month packages. You know, and all, I got to point this out too, all her stuff. 20% flavoring, everything is 50-50 PGBG mix, handcrafted for your vaping pleasure. All vape is handmade, made to order. She does have a section that's uh, unflavored nicotine where you can get um, nicotine for your own DIY purposes. You can make it either a propylene glycol or a vegetable glycer. Uh, or it can be a 50-50 blend. And you can get, um, is it 100 milliliters? I believe for 15-50. Uh, Another thing she has too that she carries is... A rock man by the name of Marshall Stacks. You can get his music through her. And if you're uh, interested in knowing about Marshall Stacks, because it's really good music, you can uh, visit their website at uh, www.marshallstacks.com. And um, if you want to hear some of his stuff live, you can go to rockersdive.com on Friday nights at 9 p.m. Central Time. Now, on the uh, blog that the Ace E Juice has, they also do monthly coupons. Figured I would point that out as well. She also takes in wholesalers and resellers. You can see there's a whole section set up for that. And as you, as you noticed, there are people that have written reviews for each one of the sections that we visited so far. She does have a separate contact us page. And now back to the review. Before I start, I must point out I did receive these free of charge for purpose of conducting a review, but my opinion of the product will remain true, honest, and accurate as always. So the first juice we're going to look at, since I've got the bottle out, is Vampire's Blood. Now, Vampire's Blood, according to what I know, is a triple berry punch with a creamy vanilla. Now I have that loaded in my Agate 2 Plus and I have it a uh, little bit different of a build here got a cotton wick microcoil in a, it's a Jenny Genesis atomizer tried it out uh, last night just for shits and giggles and uh, it's actually working pretty good um, takes a little bit of finesse to get the uh, the cotton to wick correctly, 
but um, I played around with it for a little bit and it's actually working pretty good. So, got that on top of my Tesla M2 version 2. It's a mechanical. By the way, this is a uh, 0.9 ohms. That's what the microcoil is. So let's have a beep. Very awesome. Um, the flavor profile on this, to from what I can pick up, is you got a lot of raspberry happening. Um, you know, and I, I know, I know, on the description it says that there's vanilla, but I, I just I can't taste the vanilla, and I've had I've had this on my dripper too. Okay, so I can't taste the vanilla, but I can definitely taste the raspberry. Uh, I know there's another berry in there, and I do believe that there's strawberry in there too. I could be wrong about that, but that's what I'm getting. So let me see here. Maybe, maybe I can taste that vanilla if I just concentrate hard enough. Let's see. There is a creamy subtexture going on, so maybe that is the vanilla. But it doesn't come through as vanilla for me. It just comes through as like a, um, like a, well, just like a, a, a cream essence of the berries, you know. And to me, that's not like exactly vanilla. But I mean, I could see, I could see exactly where the vampire's blood is going. So on the on the vampire's blood, you know. And let me tell you something: raspberry vapes usually aren't my type of thing. But this here, I mean, it's not all day for me. It's not all day vape, but man, I could definitely vape this quite a bit, you know. So with that in mind, I give it a nine out of ten. Throat hit. Because I'm vaping 12 milligram, it's not really too much of a, a milligram. It's, it's, wait, let me take that back here. I'm getting too far ahead of myself here. Throat hit, it's because I'm vaping 12 milligram now. It's not really too much of a throat hit. Because there's a cooling effect going on. Um, so, it's a mild kind of throat hit. I give it uh, I give it 6 out of 10 throat hit. Babe production, 9 out of 10. That one's great. Andy's Cheesecake. Okay. Uh, there's what the label looks like. Now I don't know per se if she actually hand writes every label herself but I mean that's that's one of the things that I know that she does is that she's very personable with all of her customers. It's one of the things that I mentioned in the uh, company information is the the DIY thing that she has on her website. That right there is another plus in my book about ACE juice. Uh, now, Andy's cheesecake. Uh, I have that loaded in my newest mod, which is the RM80. Going to be reviewing that pretty soon. And I've got it loaded in my little squid here. It's a, uh, what is that? 1.2 dripper? Yeah, 1.2 ohms. 
uh, unlock it here. Okay, sound sweet. Now this Andy's cheesecake. This is an all day all day vape for me because, you know, I'm I'm big into the sweets. I'm big into the menthols, and here we got two things happening at once. We got a chocolate and a mint. So can't say double whammy, but we can say double plus. So anytime I find a good menthol that's a plus in my book to vape even if it is a mint I still consider it to be a menthol in a menthol category anyways that in my book is a 10 out of 10 now Andy's mint this tastes a lot like those little bitty mints that you can find at like Walgreens, Walmart you know they come in a little grin, eh, grin, green eh, Okay, everybody group vape, pull the big zombie there. Um, the little green tin foil candies. Okay. Um, very delicious. It tastes spot on to the exact candy. Okay. It is really, really good. Um, as I said before, even if it did even if I wasn't a menthol enthusiast, I would still rate this at least a 9 out of 10 based on the fact that it tastes just like the Andes mint candy um, now throat hit here again it's got that cooling effect going on really really good so uh, it's a mild throat hit so 6 out of 10 in vapor production You know, we're working with a 50-50 PGBG here. So, <clears throat> it's more or less, it comes down to your personal setup. And the VG, of course, is going to raise that vapor production up. So, with this, I give it a, I give it a 9 out of 10. You know, it's representing the vapor pretty good. Coconut Mojito. Now this, uh, I have never had the actual drink Coconut Mojito, but I've had Mojitos in the past. And I've had strong Mojitos, I've had weak Mojitos, I've had different flavored Mojitos, so... But I never had a coconut mojito, so I really didn't know what I was getting myself into whenever I started vaping this. And, well, needless to say, now you know that whenever I bust out the bobo, okay, that means that I've found something that's an all day vape and that I'm going to constantly continue to vape it. So, it's all my bobo. And I've got it loaded in the IGOL, which I have my Mega Micro Coil built at uh, 1.5 ohms, which chucks out the vapor. So uh, we'll have a little bit of a vape here. And I'll tell you what I get off of it 15 watts, by the way. Um, okay, strangely enough, this tastes just like a mojito mixed with coconut. Now, what kind of coconut? 
it tastes like coconut juice. Um, the kind of coconut juice that uh, you use to bake with. Uh, which is why I like it so much. And uh, I've been vaping it now for probably the last three days. So you can tell I've been dripping it off and on. And, um, you know, cotton wicks, they don't really hold too much. So, and um, I've been kind of switching off and on between the four flavors that she sent to me. And, uh, you know, out of the four, which I'll show you here in a minute after I've done the fourth flavor, which of the four that I've vaped the most. But uh, flavor profile on this, getting back to it. I give it a uh, I give it a nine out of ten. I like this. I quite enjoy this one. It uh, yeah, it's an all day vape. Now um, it on the inhale, you know, I get the I get the sour and the uh, the sweet effect that the mojito has. And then on the exhale, that's when I start picking up the coconut juice that you can tell is there. Um, the throat hit. There is a throat hit to this one. It's not too big of a throat hit. However, it is a little bit more than what the throat hit, throat hit was on the last two. So, if you're going to hit it, be prepared. You won't get a chest hit, but you'll get a lung hit. Uh, so throat hit on this one, I give it an 8 out of 10. Now, as far as vapor production, well, let's go ahead and hit it again. Pretty good vapor production. I think pretty much all of these flavors are going to be consistent with vapor production. So, 9 out of 10 on this one is vanilla cupcake. Now, this one here, this one here is a little bit of an interesting one, okay? Because I started out vaping this one in a pro tank. Didn't taste right. So I tried putting it in a Genesis Atomizer. Still didn't taste right. So then I was like, well, you know, I could try doing it in a dripper. So that's what I started doing. I started putting it in a dripper and it started tasting right. But I had to constantly keep making improvements to the dripper to make it taste the way that I think it should have tasted. Now the other thing that I think was also happening is, is that this might be one of those kind of juices, the vanilla cupcake in particular, not the other three, but the vanilla cupcake in particular might be one of those kind of juices that you have to have steep out for a little bit in order for it to taste right. So granted it had a little steep time after I started dripping it, but this is what I did. For the first time ever, I actually built a quad coil dripper. So I put together a four coil dripper on my IGO W, which is, well, it's a little insane to do, but it works, you know. And of course, I've got the right kind of battery in here. It's a Sony 30 amp, and I was able to get the uh, resistance to uh, 0.9 ohms, which is incredibly hard to do, because I was using 26-gauge um, cancel. So, that in mind, I uh, finally got the thing to taste right. And it's pretty good. So let's have a bait. Mm. 
Now, vanilla cupcake to me should taste like the vanilla cupcake that Hostess used to make with, um, you know, instead of the, the chocolate cupcake, but the white cupcake, you know. And when I did it in the Pro Tank, and I did it in the Genesis, it didn't taste like that. It tasted more like a vanilla pancake. So there was something missing there. And now then again, it could have just been the steep time. So I'm going to go back and try it again in, in a Pro Tank and in a, a Jenny Atomizer probably over the course of this coming weekend. But doing it this way, um, I'm getting the full effect that this juice has to offer. Because now I can taste the full enrichment of the flavorings that are in it. Uh, which I'm getting the, uh, the cupcake taste, the vanilla taste, and the cream essence that's supposed to be in there. So, with that in mind, I know that, uh, you know, I'm not trying to show off by blowing clouds, but I wanted to give this a good review. Um, so vanilla cupcake is definitely a really good juice. And to me, okay, the flavor profile on this is an 8 out of 10. Um, the throw hit on this, it's, it's mild, just like the first two were. Um, and of course, vapor production, 9 out of 10 again. So, I said I was going to show you the, out of the three, which ones are out of me out of four, which I rate the most. And I'll show it to you now. Okay. So, there we go. Alright. So, you got Coconut Mojito on the left. Vampire's Blood right here. Right there. Uh, vanilla Cupcake right here. And then Andy's Cheesecake right there. So Andy's Cheesecake, of course, takes the cake, so to speak. Definitely well worth the money. And definitely top notch amongst the other... Uh, E-Juice companies that are up there um, that I've reviewed. So if you fancy trying one of these out for yourself, go along to aceejuice.com. You can also visit them on their uh, <clears throat> Facebook site, which should be right here. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks again, Endora, for sending these on to me. You're a sweetheart. Please subscribe to my YouTube, and as always, my peeps peeps it, my peeps and peeps it's. <laughs> right at the last second, I pull a zombie, how about that? Happy baby.